to talk more about ICC, ICC Let's give it a round of applause, everybody. Good afternoon. Thank you for, thank you for spending the Sunday with us. Thank you for bringing up here. So I'm here to talk about the Israel Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines. I am a Filipino. So Israel Chamber of Commerce, half are Israeli and half are Filipino. Basically our vision is uh, to put the Philippines and Israel together in business. Uh, why are we here? Because cosmetic group, uh, the owners of the business, are Israeli. Uh, and just to tell you, actually I was, uh, I was in Tel Aviv in Jerusalem last year. Uh, we had a historic visit by uh, President Duterte to uh, Israel, and it was the first day of Philippines uh, president. And um, so right now, our relationship with Israel is at an all-time high. And of course, a lot of us uh, want to go to the Holy Land because of our faith. So it's quite interesting. So I went uh, to Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, and I highly suggest that you also do. In any case, uh, if you want to do that, you might want to join Israel Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines. We have a company membership, which is around 15,000, and then uh, individual membership is only 3,500. It's a pretty good network, as you will see. Next slide, please. Uh, common interest in the pursuit and encouragement of bilateral investment opportunities in the Philippines and Israel. So we're looking at going back to Israel in November. Next. Alright, so this is our current ambassador, Rafael Arpaz. Um, this is our former president, uh, Sagi. Uh, uh, the one with the beard. He's our former president. Uh, Itamar. Itamar again. Yeah. And that's Joseph. Yeah. Alright, so we have a business forum and networking events. It's pretty good, actually, so when you talk about Israel, you know, apart from cosmetics and uh, uh, pharma, they're good in agriculture, so water irrigation systems. You know, Israel invented the uh, drip irrigation for agriculture and uh, cybersecurity tech in general. So, like uh, Waze, do you know Waze? That's an uh, Israeli company. Uh, a lot. Uh, SanDisk. The Viber, you know, this is all Israeli companies. Right? Next. Uh, we, all, we also do a lot of uh, uh, social civic projects and community service. In fact, um, Israel is a big, uh, a big supporter uh, that came in uh, after the uh, So, so they they didn't just uh, give like they had a water technology so that you can immediately produce clean water uh, because the water sources after the, after the floods were compromised. So, the, so they brought in machines to produce drinking water. Right? That's one of the things that they did. We have an ambassador's breakfast. We have one coming up uh, again on agriculture uh, next week. So what are the other events next? Yeah, so I guess that's it. Uh, again, my name is Antonio Risha. You can Email me directly at amaurisha at iccp.ph or you can just do secretarial or for me. Uh, what do I do? Uh, basically, cosmetic group. Before, I had an exposure because I'm a financial consultant and financial advocate. So, right now, I'm uh, looking at... Part of what I do is I buy and sell businesses. And I also have my financial advocacy. So, I set up... a uh, the Chartered Institute for Securities and Investment here in the Philippines before. So if you want a financial consultant, I'm also an associate CFO. So what I did, um, Ida, the owner, came to me and said, you know, we have a problem because um, I think our people need to be encouraged more to save, you know, personal finance, what do they do? So basically, if I just have a minute, <coughs> uh, I would suggest that first you cover yourself with um, an HMO so that if you get into an accident uh, or you get sick, you're covered. I think that's a priority. Uh, then, uh, 
Uh, HMO first actually before life insurance. So, uh, life insurance as well. I also get um, a funeral plan for my driver and me. For, for the household health. Kapag may namamatay sa kanila sa inyo rin po kung back. Right? So, my friend Gilles, uh, say, they have a plan, something like uh, 300 pesos a month na ata, covered na. So, and transferable, so the next time may mong matay. And then of course, uh, at least at least 10% of your income, put it in savings. Uh, I was a stockbroker before, right now, there's a lot of opportunities in the Philippines. So, make sure you have... Uh, make sure you have cash, but it's invested properly. You must have a lot of cash if you're gonna be investing in property. Because it's hard to liquidate So, so right now, do you want to buy more property in the Philippines? Maybe. Because it's a lot of opportunity, right? Why? Making the prices go up, and it's still going to go up. Uh, but in general, if if I was living in America, I would not buy property. I say there's the trade war, so nahira. You have to have cash. Uh, so if you're going to invest, it has to be a, a place where madaling liquidate, madaling going cash flow. So that's the stock market. Or, and then, of course, after insurance. So, everything can be learned online. Naman eh. So, I, I'm talking in behalf of my capacity as a financial consultant. Uh, my company is at uh, fedcenter.org, uh, but you can, you can still uh, contact me directly at anton.mauricio at fedcenter.org. So, uh, that's it. I hope you can join the Israel Chamber. And uh, congratulations to Respecting Group for this launch. Thank you very much. And now to